So the US Copyright Office has decided that you cannot register copyright for this image. This image was created by an AI and not a human. Only a piece of art created by a human being is protectable by copyright. The first Copyright Act was passed in 1790. In those days, journalists weren't set to write articles, they wrote copy. And if you wrote the copy, you had the right to that copy, or in other words, the copyright. This protected newspapers from competitors simply copying their paper without doing the work of researching and writing articles themselves. Since then, the law has been amended and extended many times to encompass many other types of technology. In 1884, the US Supreme Court decided that a photograph can, in fact, be protected by copyright. This depiction of Oscar Wilde was the photograph at issue. The defendant argued that a photograph is not a writing nor the production of an author, but simply a reproduction on paper of the exact features of some natural object or of some person. So it's just a piece of technology making the photograph. It's all down to physics and chemistry and not the work of a human. However, photographers do make creative decisions since they think about lighting, composition and which type of lens they want to use, etc. The court recognized this in its judgment. Those creative decisions in this case include selecting and arranging the costume, draperies and other various accessories in said photograph, arranging the subject so as to present graceful outlines, and arranging and disposing the light and shade, suggesting and evoking the desired expression. In contrast, the selfie taken by this monkey in an Indonesian jungle is not copyrightable. The monkey took the picture by pressing the button, and thus it is in the public domain. Now, let me throw in my own two cents in this crystal ball as to predict what might happen next. I'm usually the first one to criticize people who predict the future, so I'm really going out on a limb here. AI not generating copyrighted works may have huge implications for business and possibly affect how much money will be available for research in AI. I expect this issue will eventually be argued in court all the way to the US Supreme Court. Now, what is AI? There is no strict definition, but basically it is an umbrella term for a collection of algorithms. One of these is the artificial neural network. In a neural network, you have nodes and each node examines a specific aspect of the problem being solved. The output is then checked against the correct result. So let's say you want to train a neural network to recognize whether an image contains a car. You feed the image into it and then it replies with yes or no. You then tell it what the correct answer is and it will recalibrate various nodes accordingly. You do this with a very large number of different images, each going through the network multiple times and in theory at least, the network will eventually tell you reliably whether an image contains a car or not. You can train a neural network to do just about anything, including producing art. Now, I won't talk in this video about my reservations with AI, but a neural network works imperfectly on the best of days. In any case, AI does not work in a vacuum. Humans absolutely do influence how AI will perform. The most obvious one is the selection of the dataset that is fed into the network. Humans can also affect the calibration of individual nodes. So I expect this is the line of argumentation that will be used by lawyers to get AI-generated images granted copyright protection by the US courts. Now again, I'm not able to predict the future, but I honestly cannot imagine this decision by the Copyright Office to stand the test of time. This will eventually be overturned. In the immediate future anyway, AI-generated images are not copyrightable. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.